Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to the third and final installment of my 2017 favorites. Kind of underestimated how quickly I'll get through these videos considering that I have a lot of fucking favorites and a lot of products to show you guys. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about lips and lip products and all of my favorite lip products for 2017. Let's go. So this year, I actually did get my lips done. I got one mil of lip filler. It was Juvederm Plus. I got it done by one of my friends, Amelia. She is at Laser Clinics in Chadson. I will leave uh, the contact details down below if you guys want to get in touch with her. She's freaking amazing. If you guys do book an appointment with Amelia, be sure to give my name a shout out. Just say that you saw my video and you saw my video on Instagram. And she'll hook it up for you, honey. I just want I just want to quickly say as well, I don't condone surgery, plastic surgery. Like, I'm... How do I put it? I'm not against it, obviously, because I got my lips done, but I'm not, I don't think that you need to change anything about yourself. I think that you are beautiful the way you are. I don't, I don't think that people need to change anything about themselves. However, in saying that, we're not all born with what we want. So if we can change something, then why wouldn't we? That's like, I'm kind of on the fence about body modification, but at the same time, I can't talk because I got my lips done, so like, whatever. Anyway, let's get going. So after I got my lips done, I have just become obsessed with lip products. Like, there is just so much more room for things now. By the way, my lip fill is pretty much all dissolved. Like, it's all, like, done at this point. Like, it doesn't last that long the first time you get it done. So I've got four lip liners, nude lip liners. These are all nude, I just realized. So the four lip liners that I've been obsessed with is number one, Kylie Dolce K lip pencil. Such a good shade. However, Kylie's lip pencils are the same as ColourPop. So if you can find, like, a dupe in ColourPop, you're fine. This one here is Chi by ColourPop. One of my favorites as well. Another one of my favorites is 951 by the I Love Sada E. And Colourpop collaboration. It is this one here. It's a little bit more pink in tone. It's freaking stunning. And then I actually have a NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. And I use this kind of on its own. I pop it all over my lips and it doesn't move. It's freaking amazing. And this is it here. It's a little bit lighter than the 951 and I freaking love it. All right, so I'm gonna do regular lipsticks, glosses, then liquid lipsticks. And then I've got like a lip balm kind of lips. Actually, I'm gonna include that as well. Why not? Okay, so the first two lipsticks that I've been obsessed with both by Anastasia, these are the matte lipsticks, and this is in the shade Honey, which is what I'm wearing right now, and Kiss. So this one here is Honey, and this one here is Kiss. Kiss is such a good pink shade. It's not too like warm, ready, terracotta. It's more cool tone, which I which I need personally because every single thing I put on my lips reflects red. I fucking hate it. Anastasia did come out with some lipstick mini sets. So I will leave um, the link to Anastasia's website down below if you guys want to check it out. It's like $20 for four mini lipsticks. Can't really go wrong. The formula is so creamy. They are so pigmented. And um, they stay matte, which I really, really like as well. They're not too drying, that kind of thing. And then moving on to like that balm kind of lipstick that I was talking about earlier. This is the Benefit uh, They're Real Double the Lip Lip Kit thing. I, um, I don't know. It's like a lip liner and a lipstick in one, but it's obviously just like a lipstick formula that is like duo-toned or jewel-toned. I can't pick my eyes right now. I'm really tired. This is the shade here. And as you can see, it's just a gorgeous, pretty pink shade. This is called Nude Scandal Beyond Sexy. As you can see, it has a bit more gloss. It's kind of like more of a, um, like MAC amplified, like those kind of finishes. That's what it reminds me of. It's like a cream sheen kind of sorta. So now I've got two lip glosses that I've just been loving this year. The first, what the fuck was that? The first one is the ColourPop and I Love Sada E collab. This is called Curvy. And as you can see, it is just a gorgeous, nude gloss. That's it there. So it is a little bit more peachy orange than it is like more cool tone pink than I'm used to. But I find that when I use this and take photos with it, you can't really see the color much because I've got a lipstick underneath anyway. So it kind of like justifies it, kind of makes it look a little bit better. It's just such a gorgeous gloss. It doesn't settle into cracks or anything like that, but it's not super like, it doesn't have any tack to it, which I really like because I hate sticky glosses. I just, no thank you. And the other one that I've been loving is by Gerard Cosmetics. This is in the shade Buttercream and Okay, I, the one thing I can't stand about these glosses is that it has a light in it. Like, I don't want to be up in the club doing my fucking gloss with, like, a light up. Like, I don't want to draw any attention. Like, no, thank you. But in saying that, this color is kind of everything. It is a really subtle nude pink gloss up the top here, as you can see. But when you spread it out and you thin it out, you can't really notice too much. It just gives a really, really gorgeous gloss to the lip. 
So I'm a fan. Dry Cosmetics, Jen, you did a good thing. Good job, girl. <laughs> okay, so now we move on to liquid lipsticks. Now, this is where things get a little bit tricky because you guys know I'm, I don't have a fucking... I don't have one brand that I go to for all of my liquid lipsticks. I thought I was, like, obsessed with the Jeffrey ones. I thought I was obsessed with, like, the Huda Beauty ones. But, but I just found with all of them that they settle into my cracks in my lips or they're too dry or they're too dry or they're too dry. So I definitely went through a bunch of different brands that I got my hands on this year and I tried them all out. Now I want to point out that some of them are more drying than others but I'll point those out as I go. The first one that I was like living over this year was the Milani Matte Amore in uh, 10 Adorable. Oh my god, they smell fucking amazing. They smell like the Kylie ones. Um, and this is just like the most gorgeous nude pink shade. Oh, I miss this shade so much. The reason why I haven't worn this is because it cracks, fam. Like, it, it, it makes my skin and like my... It makes my lips look crusty. And that's not the tea. But it's a really nice color. So like for photos, like, for, like when I'm filming, I'll pop it on and it'll look stunning for like the first hour. But if I'm like drinking from a straw, or I'm going like this with my lips, like drink or eat or whatever the fuck. It's just a mess, like it starts cracking and it just goes all weird like in between my creases and it's just no, but the color is so good. Okay, so the next one is by Colourpop. This is a ultra matte and this is in the shade Chi. I think this is part of the Karuchi Trend collection if I'm right. And this is very, very similar to Kylie Dolce K slash Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. One thing I don't like about the Colourpop ones is that they are very dry once again. Super, super dry, like butthole lips and buy with caution. If you don't have lines in your lips, then you might actually fucking love both of these and you can probably use them together and they'll look gorge. But um, I can't get away with it personally because I do have cracky lips. So yeah, but the color is just gorgeous. Okay, so the next one is a little bit more tolerable. I actually like this one a lot. This is the uh, ColourPop and I Love Stutter E 951 Ultra Satin Lip. Now, I find that any lipstick that has like, like a little bit of tack to it, not like sticky, but it has that little bit of like, when you put your finger on it, like it takes a second for your lip to like move away from your finger, if you know what I mean. Those kind of lipsticks work best for me because they don't settle into like my cracks. They feel nice and hydrating. I'm not licking the corners of my mouth to try and get some hydration going. This one is definitely a lot more of a deeper pink, but um, it is gorgeous. Such a gorgeous color once again. Okay, so now onto my, probably my two favorite liquid lipsticks of all of 2017. Okay, we're finally here. This is the NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. I actually probably should just pop this on, but whatever. They smell like chemicals. They smell like fucking shit, but the formula, oh my God. This formula is honestly like no other. It goes on like a liquid and it sets, right? So it doesn't transfer, doesn't do anything like that but it has like this tack to it and it just feels so hydrating and moisturizing. Oh, it's just so good. The color Sandstorm is absolutely everything. It's like a gorgeous muted cool tone brown, which is what I go for in like my nude shades. Cause like I said, anything that has that ready pink kind of color to it goes red on me, it looks fucked. And so I would have to say, this has probably been my most worn liquid lipstick of 2017 and I'm obsessed and I'm gonna fucking keep on buying more because I love it. And then finally guys, my last favorite of 2017 is the Anastasia liquid lipstick in Trouble. Now, okay, I've tried Anastasia liquid lipsticks before. You guys know I love Potion, the really, really dark purple. It's one of my favorites, but this is like a different formula. I'm still trying to figure it out. It feels like a gel, like it really, really does. It is so smooth and so pigmented and it's just, it's a really, really nice formula. However, it does dry down almost a little bit chalky on the lip. Like, I kind of find that I'm licking like the corners of my mouth when I, when, when I wear this, but it's not anything like the fucking Milani or the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. Like, it's nothing like that at all. This is definitely a lot more moussey. It's like the most gorgeous, muted, dusty rose kind of color. It's just beautiful. The formula, I do prefer this kind of formula over like the formula of Potion, because I feel like that's a lot more drying. Whereas I feel like this is more of like a hydrating gel based formula. I could be wrong, I don't know. <laughs> so guys, I want to thank you all so freaking much for all of the love on my videos in 2017. I'm so excited to be entering 2018 guns blazing, not holding anything back. If you guys wanna keep up with me, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I post every single day on Snapchat. It's like my go-to where I vent and I just talk shit about a lot of things. If you guys do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Yes, I did cut myself when I was cooking earlier. Fuck my life. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the third installment once again. I'll have the other ones linked down below. And hopefully I will see you all in my next one. The the pack the pack the pack. <laughs>